one of the only independent black-owned media outlets in the United States. And it is very important to get your membership because it's not about, you know, the station. It's about the community. And that's why the station was formed. So we salute the Lomax family and the continued Lomax legacy. But it's not just about the Lomax family doing all the work, you know. Sometimes people start things off so other people can take part. And I think we all have a part to play in the information and the, the inspiration that we need to truly liberate our people throughout the world. And, and as ministers of information, I think it's of critical importance we utilize our platforms to the best of our ability. We don't just get in front of cameras and on microphones and just talk to be talking. I think it's very important for people to recognize and understand that these are some of our best weapons. We need to inform our people to empower our people because through this awareness we can access a certain degree of agency and achieve our liberation as a people. And we should be WRD and all those who are involved in that protracted struggle for our full humanity to be restored. We have to better ourselves. So you can listen live on uh, 900 on your AM dial at 96.1 You can also listen live on our website at wordradio.com. You can also check us out on social media on word, W-U-R-D. That's O-N-W-U-R-D across all platforms. All of them. So we're here today at the African American Children's Books Festival. And first, it was actually, it's absolutely phenomenal to be surrounded by so many beautiful black artists, authors, and and illustrators. I mean, the, the, the energy is intense in here. You see all of the beautiful young children. I'm just excited to see all the colorful books. And even myself with the the pages, it was just a really, really awesome time. I can't wait to come back next year. Um, it's just really good to just, you know, build and foster these partnerships now, especially at being the Black Media Outlet here in Pennsylvania. And we're just looking forward to it. We had a lot of fun. Did you have fun? I did it. <laughs> uh, as an engineer, always for at this event every year, it's always amazing to bring on the different authors and illustrators to come on and talk about their work, which is what Word usually prides itself in as far as programming is concerned. In the morning, we have Holistic Health with Halana and Wake Up with Word with Solomon Jones talking about all of the top news, followed by Charles Ellison on the uh, on Reality Check. Reality Check. <laughs> and City Council Live. And City Council Live on Thursdays. We do broadcast Philadelphia's council proceedings every Thursday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. for you need to know information as far as bills that are passed and everything going on in the community. And then one to four, we have the source with our rotating uh, rotating host, Aaron, uh, Aaron, the rap professor, was one of them. And then followed by the happy hour program with Sincerely Sarita talking about just happy programs, just kind of getting your drink on real quick. And it's like, our millennial-based like, show doing yeah. PM drive time, four to seven. Right, no, right. Sarita. And then following <laughs> that, we have our follow-up millennial program, The Lounge, with host Philip Browntree talking about just mindful stuff, and it's kind of a space for everyone to see, but definitely men to express themselves. And then you can hear it all over again in our uh, our was it, overnight programming. So we have a lot going on in the lot. station as far as information from 7 to 10, just up-to-date information. All day, every day. That are definitely important for our community, but all communities, but our community generally, where our voice can be heard Monday through Friday, Monday, Sunday through Saturday, Sunday through all, Saturday. All, all, all time. Media. Thank you.